the toughest sanctions yet on North Korea is what the U.S. has called as it presented a draft revolution to the U.N. Security Council in response to its latest nuclear test and missile launch. Officials say the draft is meant to ensure Pyongyang will be held accountable for its actions. Our foreign affairs correspondent Kwon Soa starts us off with the details of the draft resolution. It will represent the strongest sanctions against North Korea in more than two decades if passed. That's according to U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Samantha Power presenting the China-backed U.S. proposal of the new resolution's draft at the U.N. Security Council's meeting in New York Thursday. South Korean ambassador to the U.N. Oh Jun said the new sanctions are twice the strength of existing ones. They would include mandatory inspections of cargo, expansion of a weapons ban and blacklisting North Korean individuals and entities. New are the so-called sectoral sanctions, a ban or restrictions on specific commodities such as coal, iron, gold, titanium or rocket fuel. These sanctions if adopted, would send an unambiguous and unyielding message to the DPRK regime. The world will not accept your proliferation. An official at Seoul's foreign ministry told reporters Friday there has been focus on how to ensure that sanctions are not detrimental to the people of North Korea, stressing that they are, quote, targeted sanctions aimed at the regime's leadership. The issue was also discussed with U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs Daniel Russell at Seoul's Foreign Ministry Friday. He told reporters that he got the chance to assess the diplomatic progress at the U.N. with Seoul's Foreign Minister Yoon byung se He also made clear that China's agreement with the U.S. on the Council's draft is not linked to the delay of South Korea-U.S. talks on the U.S. defense system's deployment in South Korea. There's no connection between what is going on in the diplomatic track in the UN Security Council and the question of uh, the deployment of THAAD because THAAD is not a diplomatic bargaining chip. It's not a lever that uh, diplomats use in our discussions. Meanwhile, officials say the U.N. resolution could be adopted as early as Friday Eastern Standard Time should the 15 members convene and vote for a unanimous yes. But it may have to be approved next week as Russia, one of the veto-wielding members, reportedly needs more time to review the draft. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.